G'day everybody and thank you for tuning back into Alter's Barbecue. Today we are doing half a brisket. We're going to be doing it Texan style. We're going to be using the pellet smoker today. So let's get smoking. So let's take a look at the brisket we're going to be smoking today. I'm sure most of you watching this video would have already cooked many briskets. So as you know, we have the point and we have the flat. And those two muscles are connected by the decal. For this trim, what I'm gonna do is just take away all of the hard fat that's not gonna render down properly in the smoke. I don't wanna eat that, so I'm gonna get rid of it. The back side of the brisket here, I wanna clear as much as I can so I can get as much of the flavor into the meat as possible. I just worked away at the decal a little bit, but in terms of the flat, I left it reasonably untouched, including the silver skin, simply because I was concerned that there wasn't a huge amount of intermuscular fat, and I wanted to make sure that I had enough moisture in the brisket for the whole cook. But this decal, I cut it away because it's hard. I don't want to eat it, so I chopped away as much as I could. I was definitely concerned that was a lean looking flat. And what I'm left with is a brisket with a reasonable amount of fat in there, which is gonna give me some beautiful flavor, as well as keep it nice and moist throughout the 12 hour smoke. For my binder, I just simply used a little bit of olive oil, just so the rub could stick to the brisket. And this is Texan brisket, so very simply, there's two ingredients, kosher salt and cracked black pepper. Brisket can take a lot of rub, so be generous. I was a little bit concerned that I maybe over seasoned the brisket, but when I ate it at the end, for me, the amount of rub that I used was pretty much perfect. Now I'm seasoning this brisket around two to three hours before it's gonna be going in my smoker. I just wrapped it up, left it in the fridge for a few hours so those flavors could soak into the meat. 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 107 degrees Celsius is gonna be my cooking temperature throughout the whole cook today. I used a combination of cherry and hickory pellets for today's smoke. So when you're smoking, leave that lid shut. After 90 minutes, I just had a quick look to see how she was going. A little bit of smoke was starting to get into that brisket and the rub was starting to stick nicely to the meat. Just sprayed the brisket every 90 minutes with a bit of water. So over Christmas, I cooked this brisket for a friend of mine and he said it was absolutely amazing. So I had to do it for myself as well. We're five hours into the smoke. Let's go and see how she's going. So five hours in and I'm really starting to see that lovely hoggedy color come into the brisket and the bark is starting to form very nicely. Two hours later and I was well and truly into the stall. into the smoke today. Now some people like to use foil and some people like to use butcher's paper. I like to use both, pending the result of what I'm looking for. Today's result, I was looking for something tender, so I decided to sacrifice that bark a little bit. So what I did was used some foil, put a little bit of beef stock in the middle, and then put it back into the smoker until it reached an internal temperature of 203 degrees Fahrenheit, and it probably took somewhere in the region around two hours for it to get to that temperature. I did, at this point, turn the smoker up to a cooking temperature of 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for the first eight hours of the smoke, you probably noticed I didn't use a thermometer. I don't see the point. I know it's not gonna overcook. But once I get to this point, I certainly like to watch that temperature, make sure it doesn't go too far over the 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Once I hit that temperature, give it a rest for two hours, if you can.
here we have it, our Texas brisket. It's been smoking since 7.30 this morning. It's now 7.30 p.m., so it's been 12 hours all up. It's tender, it looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to dig in and give this a go. Mm. That was a super easy bite. Mm. The flavor is brilliant. Salt and pepper, that's all you need in a brisket. If you want to take it further and put more spices into your rub, that's your choice. But I tell you what, Texas, you're onto something good here with these briskets. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. I was happy with the flavor and the tenderness with this brisket, considering the flat was very, very lean and there wasn't a huge fat cap. In parts on that flat, it was a tad overcooked, but I had to push it a little bit further to make sure I had a tender, tasty brisket. Thanks for watching, guys.